Hello, I'm Gavin Howey. I'm a photographer and photographic educator. And today we're on location at Huxley's Bird of Prey Centre because it's easier to come to the Birds of Prey rather than bringing them all to our small home studio. And today I'm taking portraits with Birds of Prey on location. So I've got a whole bunch of portable lightweight kit and the weather, well, it's not been fantastic. In fact, it's still raining, but I found this nice little undercover area. Hopefully it'll be dry enough, long enough to take some photographs. The kit this time is going to be much more lightweight. So I've got the magnetic support system with the air cushion stand and a pop-up reversible background. So let's get this set up. Let's get a model in. Let's get a bird of prey in and let's get shooting. So helping me out again today, we've got the awesome Chloe. Chloe's had a change of look and we've got a change of background, so it all fits in rather well, but photography is still photography. And the first thing I need to do is think about the ambient light. Now, because we're outside, we've got quite a bit of light to play with. I could use this light, but it's not particularly exciting. In fact, it's so not exciting, I'd like to get rid of it completely. So my first shot with my camera is gonna be Hopefully no flash, no picture. I've dialed in a few settings. I've gone for F8, ISO 200, 250th of a second, native ISO, native shutter speed for flash for my camera, and I get no flash, no picture. Now all I need to do is to make my flash match my camera settings. So I've got my Sekonic flash meter. Chloe, I'm gonna pop this near your chin. Here we go. And I'm getting F8. So that means this photograph is gonna be lit entirely by the flash which is good news, particularly when we have subjects that might be flapping quite quickly. Okay, let's take a test shot. Here we go, Chloe. And that looks beautiful. So we've got nice directional lighting, lovely smooth shadows. The lighting for this is entirely flash and it's all coming through the Manfrotto EasyBox Pro Octa, which is the large version, 102 centimeter in diameter. That is a big light source. So it means I can move it a little bit further away, but retain these beautiful soft shadows. Okay, so that's the background and the lighting set. All we need now is a bird. Helping us out for this shoot was Luke from the Huxley Bird of Prey Centre. He was there to make sure the bird's welfare was maintained and also to give Chloe some advice on how to handle them and how to get the best from the session. So this is Aether, a female goshawk and is being remarkably calm and sitting there beautifully posing for us. One of the great things about the vintage collapsible backgrounds is they can be used either way around. So horizontal work really well, but sometimes vertical is the way to go. And the magnetic support kit can take up to five kilos of weight. So it's more than capable of holding the background in place. These backgrounds are really good for giving you instant texture, but some of them need a bit more work than others. For example, this one has an interesting feature where there are shadows actually in the texture and there's a light area and dark corners. So I have to put the light in the right place to mimic that. So it's light up in that top right corner as you look at it. And also the shadows indicate that's where the light direction is coming from. So that is where I've put my light. So this is Mimi, she is a seeker falcon and she is very focused on, well, pretty much everything apart from the camera, which is about right, isn't it? So let's see if we can get her to look towards us and take a few photographs. Chloe, are you ready? Okay, Mimi, here we go. Oh, perfect. We can stop after the first one, we nailed it. Once again, I can turn the background on its side, but again, I need to think about the shadows imprinted onto the background. It needs to match the lighting on Chloe, so I've put my light on the left as we look at this scene, so I get the shadows in the right place.
So there you go, those were great photos. The backgrounds did really well. The lighting came out superb. I'd like to thank Chloe for being an awesome model. And of course the birds for being the real stars of the show and Huxley Bird of Prey Center for making all of this possible. I'm Gavin Hoey, thanks for watching.